Mark Cooper then, head of Grimsby at home. Mark, how much belief does Tuesday night's performance and result give you going forwards? I think it gives the young players that um, that played in, in the team the other night a, a belief and uh, that they need they need to stick to, to what we do. When we do what we do, we play we're really good. We get away from it like we did against Walsall. We're not as effective. So um, it, it certainly reinforced our beliefs that our way is the best way, and um, it should give the, the boys that play given that all the belief in the world. Because it does take a bravery to play the way that you want the players to play as well, doesn't it? Let's you know, let, let's not forget that. Yeah, of course. But I've said to them, if you make a mistake doing what I want you to do, I'll be the first one to, to take the blame. So they've got to get out, you know. It's uh, it's perfect for the young players. All that taken into account, how difficult then is it to pick a team to take on Grimsby at home this Saturday? No, not not difficult at all. I know what I'm going to do. It's What you have to remember is that the other night was no pressure on us on the game. So we could go out and really express ourselves. Uh, the game on Saturday, there's more pressure because we're at home. People would expect us, our fans expect us to win. So with that, there comes a pressure. And, and we have to pick, pick a team that can deal with that. And Grimsby, like yourselves, have got off to a decent start. Very good start, yeah. So how difficult then does that task become against a team who are you know, presumably as, as high on confidence as you guys are? Yeah, of course. We, we analyse the opposition, opposition strengths and, and weaknesses. As we do every team, uh, they've got a target man in James Hanson, who's probably the best header of all in in the bottom two divisions, if not all of the divisions, from what I've seen. Um, and and a lot, he's the focal part of their play. They want to they want to get the ball up to him. They want to get the ball wide. And they want to cross it for him to attack. And if they get enough crosses in the box, he's going to be a real handful. You talk about no pressure on Tuesday night, but how much does that just give you in terms of options and confidence in your squad, as well as having you know the first choice eleven, if you like, but also having the stronger squad? I had that confidence anyway. One game doesn't change that for me. I've seen them, I've seen them work for six or seven weeks. I, I had that conf confidence in them anyway. So one game won't change that for me. I, I knew they had the ability and. I was expecting a good performance because of the nature of the game and, and, and the fact that it was a championship team away and it was a free hit. Do you sometimes get a bit more chance to play against a championship team when you get the ball rather than perhaps in League 2 you might get closed down a little bit quicker? Not necessarily. I think that maybe they're not quite as sure what you're going to do and, and give you maybe a little bit of respect to start with. But you certainly can't go to a championship club and, and have it all your own way. We, at, at times we had to defend and defended really well. At times we had the ball and, and we, we kept the ball off them really well. So I think if you start off the game sticking to your identity, it's difficult for the opposition to press. A word on Joseph Mills as well, because he's worn the armband consistently and that's something that you've moved around in the past. Do you feel that you've now settled on a captain? Not important for me, really. Joseph Mills' performances speak for themselves, so it's um, he doesn't need to be a captain to, to play like that. Uh, the armband for me is just an armband. Uh, we have to have a number of leaders out on the pitch, which which we have. Um, like I say, Mills' performance has been outstanding since he's been here. And because you've got so many young players in and around them, does that make the senior players sort of step up automatically and, and take on that sort of that leadership role? Yes, ideally I would, have, I would have loved to rest Joseph Mills the other night, but we uh, we had to play at least one player in there to try and look after the younger boys, which he he did fantastically well. Um, so now please please with all of it. And. Uh, those who played on Tuesday, are they all all right for, for Saturday? Yeah, perfect, perfect. Bill, a clean bill of health. Uh, obviously, uh, Alan Rawson, shall we call him? Or Aaron Rawson, as we, we like to call him, um, won't be available for Saturday because of the concussion. But the way that Young Kitching has, has come in and just, I mean, taken to it to a to, duck like uh, taken to it like a duck to water. Would, would that be fair so far? Uh, I don't know why we're surprised. 
don't know why, why we're surprised that people have played well, they're good players. We bring them to the club because they're good players. So it's not a surprise to me that, that Liam Kitchen has gone in the team and played brilliantly well against Chuck um, it's not It doesn't surprise me that Godwin Malifa has gone in, into the team and looked like he'd been there all his career, even though he's only I don't know, 18, 19. So it doesn't surprise me that because we played Charlton that they played well, they're good players. Thank you, good luck. Thanks. Mark, pang for pang, would you say this is the best squad you work with in your four seasons here? We've played three games and I'm not going to get carried away. I, I know individually we've got some good players. We're still trying to find our feet in terms of the best selection, the best formation. Obviously losing George Williams has thrown us a little bit because he was our one that we wanted to try and play through. Um, as of yet, we've not brought anyone in. We are looking. Um, but no, they're, they're good players. They've got a way to go to to do what last year's squad did because last year's squad got in the playoffs. So at the end of the season, I'll be able to answer that one a bit more, a bit clearer. Yeah, yeah. but you must be really happy with the way they've started. I know, as you say, it's only three games, but they just look a really exciting young group. Yeah, no, I'm, I think we could have... I've been. I was disappointed with the Walsall performance. We didn't play. It's, the, the pleasing thing is we highlighted that on on Monday, and we showed the players clearly why we didn't play or why we were poor. And and if we get away from our our identity in terms of our positioning on the pitch and and where the ball needs to be, then we're not effective. Um, so it's pleasing when you do that, and then you put that into practice. Then you go away to Charlton and get it back and it works so well. How much do you have to sort of temper the euphoria of uh, the Charlton game and the upcoming game against Bournemouth? That's gone, that's not even, we're solely focused on Grimsby because they're, you know, they've got threats. The league is our bread and butter, we want to compete in the league and we, we want to get three points on Saturday. Yeah, you say it's not difficult to select a team for Saturday but there must still be some little headaches. Do you have any headaches with it? No, it's not difficult in my mind because I know what what I want to do to play against Grimsby. So, um, the difficult part is is for the players to to understand why they if they played on Tuesday and they're not playing on Saturday because they played on Tuesday doesn't mean it's the right fit for Saturday. It's a totally different game. Yeah. Transfer window shuts September the second. Has the your, your sort of look at players changed since the? The Premier League and Championship window is shut. Does that change things with recruitment? Players looking for clubs? Of course. We, we, well, the, the biggest one for us is George Williams. Losing George was a big blow, so we, at some point we are going to have to replace him. Yeah. And you're looking for a George Williams type of player, are you? Or is it, it yeah, we need, a, we, need a, we need a player that's too good for the level, yeah. which we have to be lucky in getting. And, we have to, if we're going to get one, it's got to be better than, uh, drastically better than what we've got in the building. Yeah. How far is Liam Shepherd off now? Don't know. Return? No. Not clear. No. So is that another position you would be looking at? Well, then, possibly. Don yeah. Bernard's Dom, done. Don great. Bernard has done outstanding. Brilliant professional. He's come into the team and fitted in seamlessly. So, um, but we we have no idea when Shep's going to be ready to play, in terms of being on the pitch again. So maybe one that we need to look at yeah and off the pitch staff wise goalkeeping coach is there any movement on that at the moment oh yeah we we will have one in for the weekend yeah okay all the best Saturday thank you thank you